guys welcome back to another video we're going to do some nice potato curry doll with a uh, split peas with rice this meal is so easy to make full of flavors the spice level is just perfect guys if you want to continue watching stick around and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment if you like the video and subscribe to our channel let's get straight into this going in with um, a tablespoon of butter we're going to sweat our onions right so while our onions are sweating with the thyme we are going to wash our rice all right so while the onion is there sweating we're going to go in with one clove of garlic you can use two if you want and as soon as you start to smell that garlic i want you to go in with one cup of water one cup of coconut milk Adding just like a teaspoon of salt. Going in with a good old scotch bonnet pepper. What I want you to do is to poke it so the flavor release in there. Yes, man. And add our rice now. Can leave this to go and steam up until we're ready for it. Take a step And in the meantime, we're going to add the peas to our pot to cook. Remember to soak it and wash it earlier. And this is two cup of split peas. Guys, I've added just a half teaspoon of baking soda to the peas just to remove the excess gas. What I'm going to do now is to just remove the froth off the, the top of it. So every time this come up you just remove it right you don't want it in there and all the lovely seasonings that we are going to use scotch bonnet pepper ginger garlic onion scallion and thyme right i want it to be spicy guys i want ball today <laughs> no sir don't know why we caribbean people so we keep to ourselves you know sometime <laughs> with the scotch bonnet pepper And I want it to have a lot of seasoning. So that is why I'm using one and a half of the onion. You can use one big onion and done. Call it a day. Just a little cooking tip again. If you're using onions and you want it to keep its grips, make sure you have the head of the onion attached to it there. Right? So it's easier to manage. It's clear to see. See that? The world seems small. This pepper here, guys. Spicy me all about already. I'm gonna start easy food yet. <laughs> it's so beautiful. But look here, remember I always tell you use the amount that you think you can manage, and remember you don't even have to cut the pepper to get the flavor. Alright, let's just take a look at the peas. I mean I want mine to be overcooked, guys, because remember we're still not adding the seasoning and thing yet. This is hot, but you can see this is at the texture that I want it to be, right? Alright, so what I want you also to remember to reserve the water. I mean, I want you to throw your water because we are going to use it to make up the gravy, right? Alright, so in our pot here, I want to go in with a piece of cinnamon just to wake up that flavor and also some cumin. I know when you burn it in a guys, just wake up the flavor of them, right? And a little bit of fennel seed. Aye, yes man, flavor coming together guys. What I'm going to do now is to just um, remove it and heat the oil. So in the same pot, I want you to go in with some oil. Going in with our garlic, we're going to use four cloves of garlic. Guys, I don't know who created garlic presser. My gosh, I believe every kitchen should have one. What are something easy for you and nice, man? Alright, so after the garlic, we're going to follow with some scallion and onion. And we're going to do some ginger. 
going in as well with half teaspoon of mustard seed I think that give it a nice flavor guys oh my gosh and can't forget our bay leaf and if you don't have the, um, the cumin seeds you can use ground cumin and if the mustard seed is optional but it does give the food a different flavor so I would encourage you to use it all right then seeds that we tossed earlier we're going to put them in as well and what we want to do is to sweat those lovely flavors together man and make them married and taste so good while that is coming together i'm going to go in with one teaspoon of curry and i'm using the better pack one this is the best curry in my opinion right it contains coriander let me read the ingredients for you guys it contains turmeric coriander fenugreek cumin pimento black pepper and star anise that's as best as you can get it and i think the coconut rice as well will complement this so much i'm going to go in with some nutmeg going in with our potato so you can go and cook as well And this, the water from the peas, go in with some to just help the potato boil down. So guys, in a say cooking now, storm and not add no salt. So you add the salt to your desire. Going in with our peas. Guys, may I tell you, heaven on earth. Meant to be. It's some more of the water. You add your water gradually to the consistency that you like. Forever. And if you like, like I said, if you like it, mash out. You know, you can just mash it out with the back of the spoon. I like to see what I'm eating, right? So I'm mean, going to want it to mash out and look like mashed potato. So what I'm going to do now, I'm still going to cover the pot and allow that flavor to absorb in the peas, right? All right, my lovely people, this food, oh gosh, I'm telling you, it tastes so good. What I'm going to do now is to go in with a little lime juice, guys. And look, flavor, it did it. Spice, up there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, everything just tying and perfect, man. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My gravy look nice. My peas not mash out. You must give this recipe a try, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye.